Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. This is my 2019 review video. I hope you like it. 2019 was a very eventful year with many major highs and lows. Overall, it was the best year yet. In January, I left traditional school and took online school for the second semester of the year. I really enjoyed being able to work remotely at my own pace. Taking advantage of our new freedom, my mom and I went to Florida for six weeks to escape the cold. While we were down there, my favorite things that we did were go to Key West and dry tortugas, visit the Kennedy Space Center, see family, go to Universal Studios, play guitar, take a short trip to Puerto Rico, and go horseback riding. I also caught up in my leg while in Florida, but I won't go into any details. While we were down there, I started this channel, which has been a great experience so far, and I hope to improve my content in years to come. When we returned from Florida, I went to the United States Virgin Islands and continued on to Puerto Rico. I really enjoyed swimming with sea turtles in St. John and getting to explore new places before returning to the familiar Puerto Rico. Soon after, I went on a school trip to Washington, D.C. with the school that I used to attend. I decided to play for my old school softball team the day before tryouts, but luckily made the team and was able to play while still doing online school. I had several great hits during the season and can't wait to play in 2020. My parents and I went on a long weekend trip to New York City where we saw the cursed child play for the first time and bought fabric to make my Harry Potter robes with. Later I got four new chickens to raise after losing one of my older chickens. After softball was over, my mom, brother, and I took a road trip to see a Jason Mraz concert in Cleveland and continued on to visit family in Indiana. Most of the summer was taken up by seeing friends that I hadn't seen because I was traveling for most of the winter and spring. Over the 4th of July, my family took a road trip to hike some of the 100 highest mountains that we hadn't hiked yet, and it was very refreshing to get a break from the internet. A few weeks later, I had the worst week of my life because of my first kidney stone. This was my first ER visit in 10 years. In August, I took another trip to visit family in Indiana. I also went to a long-awaited Shawn Mendes concert, which was one of the best nights of my life, and jetted off to Puerto Rico immediately after. This was the last hurrah of summer because a few days later I started an in-person high school, though I would have loved continuing learning online. On the first day of school I decided to join the volleyball team even though I hadn't played in a few years. I may have been put on the JV team, but instead I had to play for the JVB team because of my second kidney stone, which took me out of school for a week and out of practice for almost two weeks. I didn't fully recover from this for over three weeks. I had to visit the hospital several times for this episode of kidney stones, and I've had to drastically change my diet and water intake. I finished writing my book, Get Outdoors, in September and got my Girl Scout Silver Award, as well as published my first book. I was invited to present the book to young Girl Scouts at the Girl Expo. For my 15th birthday in November, my parents took me on a trip to London. I really enjoyed this trip, but my favorite things that we did were taking the Harry Potter studio tour and seeing the musical Hamilton. Later on in November, my family took a trip to Florida to visit family that was cut down to two days long because of a massive snowstorm. The week after, my family went to New York City to see the Cursed Child play again with my grandparents. I had a wonderful Christmas, which was a great way to end such a fantastic year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed remembering all of the highlights of 2019. Let's make 2020 even better. Bye!